Hello, good morning, my viewers all over the world. Wherever you're viewing from, I bring greetings to you. Good morning, good morning. It's been a while. Yeah. And now this morning, I want to be talking about pass and how to activate your power. Remember that all power belongs to God. All power belongs to God. The power Satan, the devil, and his cohorts are using belongs to God. Ask me why. Satan does not have power on his own. But he is using the power of God in his life to operate wickedly. Are you getting me? He is using the power of God in his life to operate wickedly. Remember that the Bible recorded that when Satan, the devil, and the angels were thrown down from heaven, the Bible recorded that God did not take anything from them, which means they descended with the power of God to hell. Some of them, they descended in the sea. Some of them in the forest and just like that. Some of them, they were hung, they were hung on air and just like that. Those power that God created them with were not taken from them. So what did they do? They decided to use that powers against humanity. Are you getting me? Satan does not have power, power on, his, on his own or power of his own, but rather he is using the power of God in his life to do evil. Yes, to wicked the creatures of God. He said that by so, by so doing, he will put God in anger. He will put God to anger by so doing, by causing pains to humanity, pains to the creatures of God. Are you getting me? My Bible record that all power in heaven and on earth that belongs to God. So every powers that the, the evil men are using, evil men are using, demonic kingdoms are using, these powers are powers of God that they decide to use it in the evil way. Are you getting me? Now let me shock you. Can I humble you? Do you know that we have so many leaves here that God has created? And now we also have good leaves. You can use herbs. You can use to treat yourself. You boil it. You drink some of them. You bathe it to ward off negative energy, you know, to destroy whatever the enemies have done in your life. There are also poisonous herbs that when you mix it, somebody can die by taking it. There's no particular uh, beans. They call it the uh, devil uh, beans, something like that. If that thing come in contact to your skin, man, you begin to itch all over your body. The thing is reddish in color. You begin to scratch all over your body. Are you seeing it? Now, if somebody wants to wicked you, that person can easily collect that, that uh, plant, the flower or the seed, squeeze it, mix it in your water, or not to you. As soon as you bait it, you begin to scratch all over your body. You'll be scratching all over your body. It's not God that created it. But someone tried to use it against you, evil against you. Am I, am I, are you getting me? Yes. There are some, there are some deadly herbs that when you take it, you can die. Now, these evil people, they will now we kind of mix these herbs or with other things, keep it. And those that want to do evil will go and they kind of meet them. I want to kill society, I want to do like this. Uh, give me society that we used to used to do like this to injure somebody and they give them that out. Are you saying that they are using the creation of God to do evil? They are using the creatures of God to do evil. Are you with me? Yes. So that is also applicable to powers. All power belongs to God, all authority belongs to God. And Satan decided to use it against humanity. If you need powers, come to God Almighty. He's the one that can give you pure powers. Because when you are operating with the power of God, you will not think of using that power to do any man evil. 
but rather you would think of using that power to save lives, to save humanities, to pray and souls get healed, to pray and yokes are broken, to pray and deliver people. Are you getting me? The Bible recorded that the heart of man is wicked. Is desperately wicked, and the heart of man is wicked. That is why you see some persons, they use the power in them to do evil. Some persons, we are created with powers. They, we are, they are so powerful. When God created them, God gave them supernatural power. Believing that they will use those powers to help humanity, to help their families, to help those that comes around them. To help those that are dying in sickness. But rather they decide to deviate and use it to wicked humans. Are you with me? Are you with me? So don't be deceived. That is why when you go to the wrong place to make inquiries, they see some of them say consultation, some of them say alpha, some of them call it uh, uh, inquiries. Some of them call it counseling. When you step your feet in the wrong place to get counsel from the wrong person, they will counsel you wrongly and wickedly. Some of them will tell you that, ah, you, you're meant to serve an idol in your father's house. Now, they are not directing you to what they believe. Are you getting me? Yes. They saw power in you. Power that can deliver, that can heal, that can break yoke. That when you do it, you use it, things will begin to happen. They saw that power in you, but they decided to want to deceive you. Before you know, you go to the next place to make inquiries, they tell you the same thing. And because they know themselves and they are linked like this, they will tell you the same thing. And they, as they tell you the same thing, you will believe them. Because you will tell yourself that I have gone to about several places to make these inquiries. They are still repeating the same thing. And because they are repeating the same thing, it's authentic. Are you with me? And before you know, if you don't allow God to rule over you, if you don't allow God to lead you, if you don't allow God to show you the way, you will fall into their deceit. You will follow that wrong path and begin to use the power God has given you to help humanity, to save lives, to heal, and begin to do everything. And by so doing, you have deviated entirely. Are you with me? So you don't need to deviate. You use the power God has given you to do good, to help humanity. To destroy anything that is evil, that is coming near you or your environment. Are you getting me? Now, how do you activate the power of God in you? Because the power can be activated. Powers can be silent until when you activate it. Are you with me? Now, how do you activate such powers? The only way to activate the power of God in you is to do what? Is by what? Coming closer to God, He will not begin to activate that for you. It's by what prayers, He will not begin to activate that for you. It's by what praising and worshiping God in truth and in spirit. And by so doing, He will now activate, begin to activate because He has seen that this one wants to use this power to save humanity. This one wants to use this power to deliver, to heal the sick, like He said, that go ye into the world and preach the gospel. And as you preach the gospel, Heal the sick, lay hands on the sick, deliver the captive from the captivities of the enemies. Are you getting me? And now God will now begin to activate her and refine you and place you on that highest power that you can use to deliver humanity. Are you with me? And but as you're doing it, you need to be patient because if you're not patient enough, you will deviate. You want to go and do it elsewhere to get the quicker answer. No. You have to be what patient. Patiently pray for God to activate that power in you. Patiently sing, worship, praise and worship, sound praise. Him and allow God to activate that power in you. Patiently pray 
and wait at the right hand of God be activated. And as he activates, he uses it for good. Amen. And now some person that goes the wrong way, when they get there, they will miss a manner of concussion. They will do one or two things, consultation, do it, they kill animals, and do this and do that, and what? Activate. And as they are doing that, they are activating the wrong power in you. Because they will now a kind of what? Change your mind. So by the time they activate that power in you, you will begin to use that power to do evil. Are you with me? Anyway, I want to stop here this moment. I pray for you today that God will activate the power in you for you to use it for good in the name of Jesus. Next time, I'm going to be talking about how to activate your wealth because some of you, you came, you are a great person. You were created with greatness. You were created with wealth. You are created to be extremely wealthy. But you came into this world. When you go for consultation, they will tell you that this woman, you are a great woman. You are a wealthy woman, but you've not seen it physically. Why? Because that wealth, that greatness has not been activated. Something is missing somewhere. You need to activate it. So you can begin to enjoy that wealth. Enjoy that word power. Enjoy that greatness that God has created you with. Are you with me? Glory to God. I'll end there. To when next we meet again, do well to share my video. Do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as you do so, comment and like. And as you do so, God will bless you mightily in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you very much. To when next we meet again. Bye.